You know, I just went on Facebook to vent. Mark Byron says it was his frustration over his upcoming divorce and child visitation that led to his posting on the social media site. I kind of liken it to, you know, having a, having a drink with a friend at a bar or something and telling them how I feel about things. It's just that on Facebook I can do it on a, a much larger scale and, and people that are interested in talking to me about it would say something and those who are not interested would ignore it. Even though he says his wife is blocked from his Facebook page, she somehow saw this picture and read comments from friends. Mark is a photographer, but says his wife painted an unfair picture of him to a domestic relations court, and the court ruled the Facebook comments violated a civil protection order against him. Now he must post this apology every day for 30 days or go to jail for 60 days. On one hand, I've been told that I can't say what I want to say uh, on Facebook, and now I'm also being told that I must say something that they're telling me that I have to say, uh, this, this pre-written apology. It's going to garner a lot of attention. Attorney Jill Meyer says the case may make national headlines because social media is still so new. And what the courts have said is that the notion of pro preventing somebody from speaking or compelling somebody to speak raises the same constitutional First Amendment issue. Mark says he just wants freedom of speech and to see his son more often. People really enjoy the freedom that they have uh, on, on the Internet and on Facebook, especially where they can go out and talk about, you know, how they feel about things.